Nina Fosh, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, distinguished herself through a remarkable body of work. The question arises which of her performances resonates most with you? What sets Fosh apart from her peers in that era? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic actress in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover intriguing, amusing, and poignant facts about her. There's a lot more to discover, so keep watching. Born on April 20, 1924, in Leiden, Netherlands, Nina Fosch, originally named Nina Consulo Maud Falk, grew up in New York City, where her family fostered a passion for the arts. Raised in a culturally rich environment by her mother, Consulo Flowerton, a renowned singer, and her father, Dirk Falk, the Dutch ambassador to the United States, she found early encouragement for her artistic pursuits. Her journey into the performing arts took a significant turn during her education at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, marking the genesis of her remarkable career. As she honed her craft, dedication, and talent soon garnered attention, opening doors to Broadway and later Hollywood. The impact of World War II on her life extended beyond geographical boundaries. The Foch family's involvement in the Dutch resistance against the Nazi occupation left an indelible mark on her, shaping not only her resilience but also adding depth to her performances in later years. Her Hollywood debut occurred in the 1943 film The Return of the Vampire, demonstrating a unique ability to portray characters with depth and nuance, she quickly set herself apart in an era dominated by formidable actors and actresses. Over the years, a diverse filmography unfolded, ranging from classic film noirs to epic dramas, leaving an enduring imprint on the silver screen. Nina Fosch's career extended beyond acting. Her passion for teaching led her to become an esteemed acting coach, sharing knowledge and insights with aspiring talents. Her contributions extended beyond her own performances, influencing the next generation of actors. In conclusion, rooted in a culturally rich and supportive family, Fosh's early life laid the foundation for a career transcending borders. The challenges faced during World War II and subsequent success in Hollywood showcased her resilience and versatility. Her legacy is evident not only in the characters brought to life on screen, but also in the profound impact on the art of acting itself. Navigating the glitz of Hollywood often conceals the struggles beneath the surface. Despite undeniable success, Fosh grappled with difficult personal relationships. The limelight didn't shield her from the complexities of human connections. The echoes of World War II, with its tumultuous impact on her family, lingered in the shadows of her life. Her resilience, forged in the crucible of war, translated into a nuanced approach to the craft. The characters portrayed mirrored the depth of her own experiences, Hollywood, with its allure, couldn't shield her from the intricacies of relationships. Perhaps it was this very struggle that lent authenticity to performances. Beyond the screen, her foray into teaching reflected a desire to share lessons not just about acting, but also about navigating the tumultuous landscape of life. The struggles became lessons, etched in the minds of those mentored. In the grand tapestry of her life, personal challenges became threads woven into the characters brought to life. The journey from war-torn Europe to the glimmering lights of Hollywood wasn't devoid of shadows. These struggles, subtly reflected in performances, added layers to the legacy carved. Life, as experienced, wasn't a flawless script. It was a raw narrative marked by highs and lows, joys and heartaches. In the journey, grappling not only with scripts, but with the intricate scripts of relationships. The challenges faced off-screen, akin to the characters portrayed, revealed the multifaceted nature of existence. Nina Fosh, a trailblazer in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark not just as an actress, but also as the first victim in the TV detective Lieutenant Columbo's case in the pilot episode of TV movie Prescription Murder. Acknowledging cinematic contributions, on August 15, 2020, Turner Classic Movies dedicated a day to honor Fosh, showcasing the breadth of her filmography during the summer under the Stars event. In the Ten Commandments, commitment to craft saw her donning contact lenses to transform naturally blue eyes into brown, underscoring dedication to character portrayal. The journey from war-torn Europe to the glimmering lights of Hollywood wasn't without shadows. Struggles in the personal life, woven intricately into performances, added layers to the legacy. Hollywood's glitter couldn't shield from the complexities of relationships, 
and it was this very struggle that lent authenticity to roles. Beyond acting, Fosh ventured into teaching, sharing not only the nuances of the craft, but also life's tumultuous lessons. The challenges faced, akin to the characters portrayed, revealed the multifaceted nature of existence. Resilience, forged in the crucible of war, translated into a nuanced approach to art, creating a raw narrative that resonated with audiences. In the grand tapestry of life, personal challenges became threads woven into the characters brought to life. Life, as experienced, wasn't a flawless script. It was a raw narrative marked by highs and lows, joys and heartaches, intricately etched into the minds of those mentored. The impact extended beyond the silver screen, leaving an enduring imprint not just on the art of acting, but on the lives touched. Contributions, both in front of and behind the camera, showcase a remarkable journey that transcends time and continues to resonate. Nina Fosh's personal life unfolded with unique facets. In 1960, her second marriage to Dennis DeBrito bore fruit in the form of her only child, Dr. Dirk DeBrito. This added a familial dimension to her life beyond the glitz of Hollywood. A notable chapter in her educational journey includes time at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where she graduated in the class of 1942. This pivotal period laid the groundwork for a career that would see her transition seamlessly from Broadway to Hollywood, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Friendships in the entertainment industry often transcend the screen. Notably, after co-starring with Diana Ross in the 1975 film Mahogany, Nina and her husband James Lipton forged a lifelong connection with the iconic singer. This bond showcased the depth of relationships formed amidst the lights and shadows of Hollywood. Beyond acting prowess, she delved into the realm of teaching, impacting aspiring talents with her insights. Her dedication to the craft extended to the physical realm in films like The Ten Commandments, where she went to great lengths, donning contact lenses to transform her naturally blue eyes into brown, underscoring commitment to character portrayal. In recognizing cinematic contributions, Turner Classic Movies dedicated a day to honor her during the summer under the Stars event in 2020. This acknowledgement highlighted the breadth of her filmography, showcasing the versatility she brought to each role. Life for Nina Fosh wasn't just a script confined to the silver screen. It was a raw narrative shaped by personal challenges, relationships, and a resilient spirit forged in the crucible of war. Her legacy, both in front of and behind the camera, continues to resonate, leaving an enduring imprint on the lives touched by her remarkable journey. In her role in The Ten Commandments, Fosh portrayed a mother figure to Charlton Heston, an aunt to Yul Brynner, and a sister to Cedric Hardwick. Interestingly, despite the on-screen familial connections, she was a year younger than Heston, four years younger than Brynner, and 31 years younger than Hardwick. Her dedication to the craft extended beyond acting. For four decades, Fosh taught Directing the Actor, a popular course at USC's School of Cinematic Arts. It was during one of these teaching sessions that she fell ill. A day later, she passed away at the Ronald Reagan UCL, a medical center due to complications from long-term myelodysplasia, a blood disorder. A noteworthy collaboration in her filmography includes co-starring roles with Edward G. Robinson in Illegal and The Ten Commandments. This pairing showcased her ability to share the screen with seasoned actors, leaving an impact in both dramatic and epic settings. Nina Fosh's life was marked by diverse experiences. Her journey from war-torn Europe to the glimmering lights of Hollywood was layered with challenges. The echoes of World War II, intricately woven into her personal and professional life, added depth to her performances. Hollywood's allure did not shield her from the complexities of relationships, and perhaps it was these struggles that brought authenticity to her roles. In recognition of her contributions, Turner Classic Movies dedicated a day to honor Fosh during the summer under the STARS event in 2020. This acknowledgement underscored the versatility she brought to each role, showcasing the enduring impact of her filmography. Beyond the silver screen, her personal life unfolded with unique facets. Her second marriage to Dennis DeBrito resulted in the birth of her only child, Dr. Dirk DeBrito, adding a familial dimension beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Notably, after co-starring with Diana Ross in the 1975 film Mahogany, Fosh and her husband James Lipton forged a lifelong connection with the iconic singer, highlighting the depth of relationships formed amidst the lights and shadows of Hollywood. In her dedication to character portrayal, she went to great lengths, such as donning contact lenses to transform her naturally blue eyes into brown in films like The Ten Commandments. 
This commitment to the physical aspects of her craft mirrored her nuanced approach to acting, shaped by a resilient spirit forged in the crucible of war. Nina Fosch's legacy extends beyond the silver screen. Her impact on the art of acting and the lives touched by her remarkable journey continue to resonate, leaving an enduring imprint on the tapestry of Hollywood history.